this is the MoClip uh, general tutorial. Thank you for watching. So uh, first I'll take you through how to download MoClip and then I'll take you through the user interface. So uh, you need to go to the MoClip.com website and then you need to go to the download section and then you need to download the, either for a Windows 32-bit or a Windows 64-bit and when it is downloaded you simply need to uh, uh, open the zip archive and in there you have the executable uh, and then you have a bunch of Maya plugins and a bunch of motion bullet plugins which you can extract uh, if you uh, require them. Uh, for now we'll take uh, the moclip.x which I already have over here. So when you open the application you are presented with a 3D viewer and then down here you're, you see the timeline where you have the character tracks and clips and on the left you have uh, the, the browser which has actually four tabs at the top the account, the character uh, tab, search tab where you find all your clips and the properties uh, depending what you have selected. The top you have the, the menu uh, to do all the generic uh, tasks and you also have the, a couple of odd keys and if you need to uh, to see the entire list of odd keys, you can go to see uh, the help by pressing F1. So uh, the first thing we'll do here is to, uh, well, register, obviously, unless you have an account. The important thing to remember here is that you'll actually need three, thi three things to, uh, to log in into MoClip. You'll need an account server, which is usually your company name or a group of person. And then you have your uh, username and password. In this case, I'm the administrator. Um, and then you need to uh, fill in the information about uh, yourself and your company. And then you need to agree to the, uh, the terms and conditions. Um, uh, once you have, once you have uh, created a user, you can simply log in. And then you can check the Remember Me button if you, if you want and then you can sign in. And then you're presented with your uh, home page which is um, a file listing of your on your on the current FTP. Um, so this is where all your uh, animations will be listed um, and uh, then you have a news feed at the bottom. So what you want to do once you're logged in is you want to go and create a character. So here we have we support two types of characters as of now bipeds and quadrupeds. Um, so uh, you can simply click and add a track. You can add multiple characters and create crowds if you want. Then you need to go to the search tab and then you need to type something. So let's say I type a punch there and then I, I can see a bunch of results. So I can zoom in if I want and then uh, when I hover over the, the thumbnail uh, you can see the actual um, the actual uh, animation. So here, as you can see, this is a kick and combo punch. So I'll just click on that and it's going to add it in my uh, active track. Then I'll add to that a walk to run, for instance. And then here you go. So this is a walk to run. And then I can actually click drag this into my, into my track at the bottom. So once this is done, you want to uh, manipulate your clips. Now, uh, as you can see in the viewport, you can see uh, the path for the animation. So, um, if you play this animation, you can see that now it snaps from one clip to another over here. So, uh, what you want to do is to create a blend. But before you create a blend, you can see here you have these red and blue lines at the bottom of the, the clip. And it tells you which foot is actually planted on the ground. So as you can see, if I want to blend into blue over here, it's red, so it wouldn't blend correctly. So what I'll do is I'll double click on this and I'll simply uh, hit mirror, uh, uh, turn on the mirror options, which is going to actually turn on the animation on the YZ uh, plane. So now I have blue and blue, so when I blend that, I know it's going to blend correctly. So as you can see here, it blends on this foot down there and then it slides a little bit towards the front so what I'll do is I'll first uh, hit uh, E in order to uh, activate the rotate uh, manipulator I could hit uh, W to activate a translation uh, manipulator at the, at the top here in the controls menu you can actually see the hotkeys if you want you can go in your preference and you can change the hotkeys to motion builder 
which is OT and R. Um, and it also changed the, the viewport manipulation, which is uh, shift and control. Um, if you're in the, under the Maya hotkey scheme, then um, then you have the, the the Q, W, and E, and then in the viewport it's Alt and the uh, left and middle mouse button. So um, so here uh, I want to take my clip and I want to rotate it. So actually my character I want him to click to kick and then keep going uh, straight forward. As you can see here, when I do this. It, it slides towards the front though. So so what I can do is simply take the clip and move it back like that. So then it's going to blend uh, right on the heel. So it looks correct when we, when we look at it. Then when you have a clip selected up here, you can see translation rotation and you can inherit the positioning. So if I move the first clip like such, you'll see that my second clip is inheriting. So if I turn that off for this clip, if I move the first clip, now it's going to move uh, by itself. So um, so I'm going to keep the inherit uh, t um, checkbox turned on. And then you have the in and out and start frame, which is exactly the same thing as um, manipulating the clip down here. Then you can change a clip so that this guy walks faster or slower. So here I'm going to have him walk faster when, when this is done. So I press uh, control and uh, space in order to play. And you can see that now he's leaving a little faster at the end. And then you can reverse clip, which is actually reversing the clip uh, in such a way that the start becomes the end and the end uh, uh, and it is automatically placed uh, in this scene to uh, best fit your animation. So this is not what I want for now. And then you have at, uh, at the uh, bottom here the clip and properties. This is exactly the same thing as if you press down on your on your, with a clip selected. It's going to select the end manipulator, which allows you to to change the end blending of the clip. So that gives you uh, way more control over where the clip ends up. So if I play this, you'll see that the character is slightly rotating at the end of the clip. It's slightly sliding at the same time. So if you do a drastic movement, maybe you want you, you want to consider uh, rather changing your clip to something where the character is actually walking and turning at the same time. So here, as you can see now, this character is um, is a uh, is a uh, turning at the end. Then you have the weight value here, which change where on the clip the the clip is actually uh, is actually uh, uh, blending. Uh, between the start position and the end position. So here you can simply click uh, control and drag in there in order to see it. And you can do that in any field and you can use shift uh, in order to um, to increment with uh, larger values and shift and control at the same time for smaller values. So there you go. Now I have this animation which is place in space. So I, I can simply go up with the arrows to go up uh, up the path and down to go down the path. So I'm going to take that uh, that first uh, first clip and move it. So uh, first thing I need to make sure is that my character, when I click on a character, it, its pivot is located correctly in the world. So if I have my animation starting somewhere in the world, I don't want the master to be uh, at the at the origin and then the the animation to be really far from it, so I can just right click on the on the character and say snap pivot to first clip, and there you go. You have my pivot exactly to that location, and you can access several uh, menus by uh, by right clicking on clips or on characters. You can actually delete uh, gaps and ripple delete clips if you want, exactly like you would do in uh, an editing software. So now that I have this animation ready, I simply need to go to my account and I need to submit the animation to the server that's going to process it. Now MoClip is a cloud computing uh, software uh, so so all the clips are on the web and all the processing is being done by uh, the MoClip servers. So you can click the submit animation button or you can go file and submit the animation. First thing you'll have to do is to save your scene. I'm going to save this as a demo here and then and then I can click the submit animation button. Now I'll be taken to the animation bin 
which uh, actually takes a file, reads the file, so the file was uploaded to the server and it tells me how much that's going, it, it is going to cost. And now all I have to do is to check out. Uh, I could also delete the animation if I didn't, don't want it. I could put more than one animation file if I want in the order. So here I can confirm my order. When you confirm your order, you'll be taken to the PayPal website where uh, we handle all of our transactions. So, so in there you'll be able to log into your PayPal account or use your uh, credit card uh, to pay for um, for the animation. So, uh, just fill in your credit card number and then uh, click review and continue, and then you'll be back to the uh, the MoClip uh, uh, account page, and then uh, now you're back to uh, the the MoClip website, and you can simply click uh, continue. And now the file is being processed by the server uh, in real time. So as you can see, when you go back to your own page, uh, the file is actually pending. So the file is being uh, processed. And as soon as it's done, it's going to only take a couple of seconds. Um, I will uh, be notified. And then uh, I'll be able to download it from uh, the file listing over here. So, so there you go. You have... Uh, the animation which is ready so I can click on the on there in order to bring up the the home page or you simply need to uh, refresh the page pressing F5 um, so there you go you have your file over here which you can click and download so I'm gonna save that somewhere on my computer and when this is done downloading you can simply uh, hit the delete button to remove it from uh, from the server and then you have your file ready to import either in uh, Maya or in Motion Builder so if you have any any um, concerns or any if you need to review anything, there is an extensive help if you press F1, uh, and then you'll be taken to this uh, this web page here with all the the help about all the different topics. Uh, so uh, and if you need more help than that, you can go to the community and there's a discussion forum where where you can ask your questions. So thank you for watching.